This tutorial describes how a center line through the aortic valve and ascending aorta can be created and how the annulus plane is defined. They will be used in the next step to perform measurements. The first step is to click the automatic button. The software will automatically compute a center line. In case the automatic step fails or is not satisfactory, you can define a manual center line. This is explained in a separate tutorial. The right bottom viewport shows a segmentation of the aortic root, ascending aorta, aortic arch, and the automatically created center line. On the left bottom, a perpendicular viewport is shown. While scrolling through this viewport, we move perpendicular to the center line. In this viewport, we also see a pink and green intersection line. They indicate the axis in which the two long axis views on top are created. The green and pink lines in the top views indicate the height or position of the perpendicular view at the bottom. These views will be used to assess and adjust if necessary the control points of the center line. Use the mouse wheel to scroll from point to point. The red control point is the active point and is shown in all viewports. It can be repositioned by dragging it with the left mouse button to the required position. Center the control points in the vessel. Go over all the control points. Once this is done we need to define the annulus plane. This is done by indicating the nadirs of the aortic valve. A nadir is the lowest point of the leaflet or the hinge point. This point can be indicated on the perpendicular view or the long axis views on top. To define the point on the short axis view, scroll through the slices until you can see the leaflet. Follow one leaflet and scroll down as it disappears. Click the point where the leaflet has just disappeared out of view. To use the long axis view, scroll to a view where you can see the position of the leaflet. Rotate the intersection line, so it passes through the middle of the leaflet. Go to the corresponding view on the top and click just below the nadir. Repeat one of the steps for the last leaflet. Once the three points are defined the software will automatically define the annulus plane as the plane going through these three points. The annulus center point is automatically placed in the center of the markers. To check the annulus plane, rotate the intersection line in the short axis view. The annulus markers appear one by one in the top viewport. Check if the markers are not too high or too low. They can be repositioned on either the long axis or short axis view. In case of a true bicuspid valve, use the bicuspid option on the right. In this case, you only have to indicate two nadirs instead of three. In case of a fused bicuspid valve, use the tricuspid default and place three markers. For more information watch the advanced tutorial on bicuspid valves. When satisfied with the centerline in the annulus plane, click on Confirm. 